I'm going to do my testimony in memory of my sister. Um, in 1992, I found my sister, um, and they told me that my sister had AIDS. Um, I couldn't believe that that was possible to happen because she was a woman. And at that time, the CDC was saying that women were safe. So um, after I lost my sister four months later, I started thinking about myself and wondering, um, could I um, have this virus? So I decided to go um, and have myself tested. I believe the purpose of me finding my sister at the time I found my sister was so that I really could find out about myself because um, there was a lot of misinformation. People really wasn't sure how um, others could, you know, um, contract um, the virus. But um, I think by being tested and um, getting on medication, even though I had some problems with some medicines and in the beginning, and it was hard because it's nothing like today. Today you have like one pill, but I would say to the young people, please don't just think because they have a pill um, to take. Um, that's not a reason for you to want to, to live with this virus or to contract this virus. Please be safe and educate yourself and, and know. I think your sister's looking down at you and smiling at you. I pray I'm pleased. So I take her everywhere I go and I do every time I have to say something about um, myself, I have to include her because I feel that she really helped save my life. You know, and I didn't want to wake up one day in an emergency room like she probably found herself, um, not aware that she had this virus and it was just too late. And so I just tried to spend the last, you know, months of her life that we had with her to make her happy and just enjoy her for the time we had and, and begin to stop thinking. You know, I had unprotected sex and I needed to know for myself, and was I at risk? And I wasn't expecting to get a positive result, but it came back positive. And so they thought they gave me a death sentence, but I, <laughs> I'm here to let them know that, no, I'm fighting and um, it ain't over yet. And so I pray that this helps someone. So please, um, if you see this, please get tested. There was a time I was very depressed, very isolated, very ashamed because um, the stigma was so bad. And, um, and especially, um, you know, as being in the church and, and hearing the, the horrible things that people who said they loved Jesus would say about people who had AIDS. And so I decided I wanted to do something to help get the word out. So I began to start um, doing things behind the scene. But today I'm, I'm on the forefront. I'm getting it out there and using myself as a personal example that um, this disease can happen to anybody. HIV does not discriminate and we all should be uh, educated, um, be aware um, of our status. If we don't know it, we need to be aware of our status, and not just our status, but the status of the person who you are involved with. You also should um, warn your children to let your children know that they, they need to be informed and educate them as well. And so I just pray that this here will help somebody. And um, I'm just thankful to still be alive, to still be here. and. Um, just wanting to get it out there.